Hi everybody, I'm here today to share another mini that everybody keeps inspiring me to do. To, um, this is a 6x6 six six album. Um, I used a method for the spining this time of uh, Inette Kessler with the uh, uh, cheesecloth and glue and it seems to be holding up very well. Uh, this is just a flower formation I put with paper flowers and from a dollar store I just uh, inked them up and pulled them off their stems and this is for my friend's birthday Mary <clears throat> so that I made for her so and that was just a punch around the page and I've just put some glitter pieces there so the first page I have this uh, this idea was inspired by <laughs> Korea Politic or something like that. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing it right. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty cool little tri double trifold or something. I'm not sure what it's called. Just a mini album insert. <clears throat> Pardon me. And it just tucks back there. And then this opens up. And a 4x6 photo can go here. And a couple smaller photos here. Let's get the backs plain. And then this page, this piece here was inspired by um, Paper Crafter 45, I believe it is. And she has a lot of good ideas. It just tucks back in there and then this flips up and then it flips over and then this I left open for a cropped photo to go down into <clears throat> and then that flips down for a couple more 4x6 photos And I tried to get better with my magnets. I tell you, there's so much planning involved. You guys are amazing to think all this stuff through. Every time I think I got it, I don't got it. And these are just tags. Uh, they can hold a 4 by 6 on the back side. I'll put that in later. <clears throat> and the next page, this is just a little swivel. <laughs> and then that opens up for either journaling or a smaller photo. And then this page was inspired by Zanero One. And I made these little chipboard pieces. Um, Kelly Colgrove or something like that. Um, she inspired me to do these. Oh, and this is a crocheted flower. My um, stepdaughter made for me. She made me a few, but I'm going to use them sparingly because I only got a few. And uh, this, I think, is a triple library pocket, I believe, by Paper Crafter 45. Um, she has so many cool ideas in her ideas. That everything, all her tutorials are so simple to follow. And then it opens up like that. And I think they're like three by four photos. Put that back in later. And then another tag here. And this page I call the bird page, just the way it turned out. Um, there's a little bird cage here, another little chipboard piece that I made. It's a dream. And another couple of four by six photos. And my measurements were wrong on that, that's why you gotta kind of pull it, tuck it under. Um, and this bird page again, uh, I, they're like acetate frames. So 
can slide a photo in behind there. This feather trim I had. And then it opens up to an owl. Another 4 by 6 photo. 4 by 6 photos <clears throat> can all go on there. And then this is a gatefold page. It's another chipboard piece I made. And all these albums I make are inspired by so many different people out there. All the different pages, the different techniques, the different ideas. You guys are amazing. This was just some trim I had in my stash for a very long time. <coughs> And then this little tag swivels, and my mom lent me her embossing um, equipment, so I just was experimenting there. And then this is a slider tag, and this holds a couple of four by six photos. Another tag in the side. And then this one. I have a pocket and did some stamping. There's journaling there. And it's magnetized, so it just flips open a couple of times for either smaller photos or more journaling. And another chipboard piece I made. And a little envelope page, Velcro. And I think it's like a two by three photo that would hold. And then this opens up, some more tags. They're all one-sided. A um, couple more tags. And then this one just opens up. And just some bling stickers that I had. And then this is my final two pages. Uh, I think these are my favorite out of the whole book. I like the envelope page too, and that slides out so you can put a photo. Uh, this just stays here. It's just more decoration than anything. And this has magnets. And oh, I can't remember who designed this one with the envelopes. Um, another chipboard piece I made, but it opens up that way and each one has a tag of a different size um, considering the pocket that it's in. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Full. Oh, but it has to stay in the pocket to open. And then it opens up again. It's so cool. And then yeah, it just goes back on there with the magnet. And uh, this is a waterfall page. And it's all just one sided. They hold all four by six photos. And then just maybe a couple of journaling spots or smaller photos. And some lace trim over the pocket. So, yeah, that's my mini album. Uh, I just had to share that. There's nothing exciting on the back or the side. I still need to watch more tutorials on charms, so uh, this is a start, and uh, thank you everybody for inspiring me so much. Have a good day. Bye.